he exfoliates. Harlem Legend TV, I'm watching you. Harlem Legend came to New York. He went to an event and did a quick live outside and left. He didn't let me know he was going to be at that event before he went to that event. That's for one. For two, Harlem, Harlem left, Legend ain't never shot nobody, man. Stop comparing me to niggas that ain't never shot nothing. But you did. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Salute to everybody in the building, man. It's your boy E or you aka the Harlem Legend, man. We in the building. What's popping? Y'all what's popping, man? Salute to everybody in the building. CEO Carolina in the building. What's popping? Love for free in the building. I don't know. That love, that's what Puff did. He changed his name to Love. I don't know what you doing, homie. <laughs> it might be a bad joint. You heard it might be a bad joint. I don't know if you're a dude or said fancy in the building. Salute. Uh, who else we got here? Mr. Mr. Fleur. <laughs> Mr. Fleur in the building. you heard? What's popping? Uh, Christopher. Christopher Blair in the building, man. Rod Dizzy in the building. Rod Dizzy. What's popping? G Mac. Day one shit in the building. What's good? Yeah, yeah. David Lorenzo in the building. Playboy Princess in the building. You see that, right? Miss Hustle won it, right? Mm -hmm. I think they ain't want no static. I'm going to be real. Yeah, I'm thinking they ain't want no static. They ain't want the extras that was going to come by. Yeah, yeah. Miss Hustle would have been like, yeah, I hate it on me. You know how Miss Hustle would have went in. I think they ain't want that. They said, fuck it, give it to Miss Hustle. She had a good year. We can get away with this. It was the safe. It was the safe thing to do. You heard? That's a fact. East side of town. What's popping? Lad baby in the building. Yeah, man. I got a couple things for y'all today, man. Before we get to this MJ, uh, uh, M MGK, Machine Gun Kelly. So y'all see the poll. Has he been groomed? I'm just keeping it 100. I'm going to take it back for you. Has he been groomed? First off, let's start with Rick Ross, man. I tell y'all all the time, a lot of these celebrities is not as rich as they think they are. Like they they display, you heard, they display this, this, this rich... Like, I'm so rich, I'm so rich, and they really not, dog. I got to keep it 100. So, Nico Leonardo, I mean, Leonard, Le uh, Nico Leonard is a jury. He's a guy that, 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 a watch guy. He's a watch connoisseur. He, you know what I'm saying? So, he, he knows about these watches. He knows about all this shit. And I guess Rick Ross want to keep on disputing what the man is saying. You feel me? Oh, and this is what he does for, you know, for his profession, for his living. It then tries to clean. It just looks nasty. Like, pay attention. I want y'all to see what Nico uh, Leonardo or Leonard did to Rick Ross. Yeah, yeah. He aired them out. Fake rich shit. Yeah, I know how it go. Niggas be acting like they rich and they really not. Salute. Boss, bro. I just made a video about your insane green AP. Unfortunately, it's fake. Why are you flaunting fake watches? 
There's only one of these watches in the world of 41 mil. And there's another one in 37. There's more coming in the future, but because of the complexity and the difficulty to find these stones, there's currently only one in the world. Can you explain me this, Rick Ross? Why is there a photo here with my name, Nico Leonard, and the photo of that exact watch? That's the real deal. And you have a fake. The real owner sent me this photo. And you have a fake watch. Why are you flaunting and saying that that watch is worth 3.25 million, mate? I thought you had to be an example for the youth, etc. Mate, load of balls, get your act together. This is pathetic, mate. Uh, <laughs> how y'all feel about I agree with him, but this is kind of an old story. Like this story, Ben came out. You feel me? Like this is an old story. Rick Ross is still trying to make it like. I mean, these guys be full of themselves, y'all. He's still, still trying to make it feel like it's a real watch. And we all know it's fake. Rick Ross, like, stop it, dog. Stop it. Call a hotline. 919-706-9990. These guys be having an image to uphold. Pay attention. A few weeks ago, if you don't know, I was accused of wearing a fake watch by someone I will refer to as Piggly. He looks like one. But... The raw reporter sent us emails of the correction, whatever, whatever, small talk, small talk, no big deal to a boss. But the reason I'm asking you all this, I want to know someone who owns a piglet. Do you believe I should have a piglet at the promised land? You know, I have over 300 acres at the promised land for the car show because for some reason it's been on my mind. I want to buy a piglet. If you're selling a piglet, I want a piglet and I'm going to name it Nico. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't respect that from somebody that calls themselves a boss. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, welcome. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Salute, salute, salute. Welcome to Harlem Legend TV. State your claim. Harlem was good. Sean Prince, Big Jersey. In Sean that. Prince, Big Jersey, Big Jersey, Big Crip in the building. Salute to Sean Prince. Salute know. to the whole Jersey. What's popping, my G? It's the deal, my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in tune with this. Uh, with this story, I know about it. Um. Yeah, what, uh, Rick Ross out here doing better, man. He wearing Bang Bang jewelry, man. He yeah, I mean jewelry. I mean, you, you feel me? Because that dude Miko was a uh, whatever his a name watch is, expert. Is, uh, he's a watch expert. Nico, yeah, Nico, watch Nico expert. Leonard. So you know what talking about? He just said that he was with the owner, and they signed the picture. That's and a fact. Still talking shit after that. You just embarrassing yourself. You throwing more dirt on the coffin. Like it's already packed. It's, it's nasty back, work. Right? Like let me ask you this, right? So when they hey, do we're this, we're that bang bang jewelry. <laughs> you know he got that shit from Canal Street. He got that shit straight from Canal Street. Uh, he got that shit from overseas. He thought we wasn't going to no. know. Yeah, he and, he and I, going, oh. the crazy part about it is a lot of people do it. A lot of these rappers is doing that, and mm -hmm. I mean, he maybe he's embarrassed. You think he's just embarrassed? He's definitely a best because now we got to question all the other jewelry that he got. You know what I mean? What I'm saying? One thing about that black box, that black uh, jewelry tester, now when it tests moistenite, it still go to ring like it's real diamonds. That's you know, a fact. That shit, moistenite, tester, moistenite so rings like diamonds. And it's, yeah, it's going to tell you whether it's natural diamonds, lab diamonds, or moistenite. You got to put a that fact. shit a scan. That's a fact. Because mm -hmm. moistenite Burgers actually bomb, that passed. Black box and shit. That shit is a scam. That shit, that shit ain't the real deal and shit. So, you know what I mean? We got to question all his other jewelry as well and shit. That's feel? a fact. That's a, lot, a lot of them rappers do this shit, though, man. It's like, what point are you trying to prove at this point, dog? Like, what are you trying to prove? You feel me? I mean, your house and your cars alone, that, that, that says enough for you. But for you to be out here with a three-point... <laughs> Why well, supposed to be three point two million? They saying the watch is three point two million, bro. But hold on, but hold on, but hold on, hold up. The nigga, the nigga out there cutting his own grass at the promised land so he could save money. He out there cutting trees down at the promised land so he could save money. So if you cutting your own grass <laughs> at your own land because you know he's sitting on acres, so we supposed to believe? Yeah, it don't make sense. On the, just... on the watch. These dudes and wear you don't fake want to jewelry. Be any landscapers? That's a fact. The That's a fact. They all wear fake jewelry, and it's just like it's just a popularity contest at this point. Yeah, man, keep you it real. Me? Keep it real, Harlem. If, if if Rick Ross gonna be in your town by next next month, is you going to the concert? Hell oh, no. The, Hell no. Yo, look, I've always been a guy that don't go to concerts. I'm not going to. Nigga, what I look like? 
<laughs> nigga, I ain't going to nobody concert. Nigga, I'm not spending hundreds of dollars to be in a nosebleed. Exactly. Doesn't and make sense to me. Make they show is through the concerts and shit. So that nigga's a three point two on a watch. Stop it. Stop bro. it. Stop, stop it, Captain. Man, salute, Great man. Job, I appreciate salute, you for pulling dude. up, man. I appreciate you. Already you already know. Hold it down, my nigga. Salute. Hey, the link is already in the chat, y'all. So if y'all want to pull up on the platform, the link is already in the chat. You just got to show your face, not your waist. You feel me? Salute to everybody coming in the building. Smash that like button. Welcome to Harlem Legend TV. You can call a hotline. Call a hotline. Let me know how y'all feel. But I feel like, yeah, Rick Ross is out of pocket, dog. Get him up out of here, dog. Like, I'm not a Rick Ross fan at this point, man. These dudes be trying to... It's like they want to shine so bad. You heard? Speaking of wanting to shine so bad, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just... For me, it just be nasty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Troy Ave has something to say. Like, Troy Ave... I'm going to say that again. I don't think y'all understand. Troy Ave have some... Troy Ave speaks... Don't let nobody trick you into thinking being in jail makes you cool or real or a real nigga. Come on, Troy Ave. Like, look what he says, y'all. Look, look, now he wants to speak to the youth. Now he wants to do... I, I, I'm just... These rappers just kill me, man. Why don't they just shut up? Right? He's only spending a year and a day on Rikers Island in PC. Like, I gotta be real. The man is in PC... He did all that gangster shit, and now he's in PC. Hold on, man. Don't let nobody trick you into thinking being in jail makes you cool or a real nigga. Nobody who actually in jail will ever agree with that. Yo, jail is like special ed. I was never in them classes, and now I see why. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Like, like we supposed to take any advice from Troy Ave. Like, I got to be real. Let's not forget, y'all. He took the stand. Okay, Troy Ave took the stand. This is a dude that I wouldn't I wouldn't trust him with a poke. Like I wouldn't trust him. I wouldn't trust him at all. He's disgusting. He took the stand. This is not what I want to teach my youth. I want to teach the youth to stay out of trouble. Don't even get involved in no shit. This dude is so much of a hypocrite. He took the stand. He got a man 35 years. Well, I don't think y'all understand. He got him 35 years. He made a stay. He got on that stand. Nasty. Just to get a year in jail. And rest in peace to Banger. You're an innocent bystander hit. Rest in peace to Banger. But this nigga was beefing with the with that man Tax Stone on the street. So when Tax Stone finally seen him, they went to they, look, he wanted to he wanted to do him. No matter where, I understand innocent bystander died. I'm not taking anything away, y'all. You heard? I understand. Somebody innocent died once again. But when you get mixed in in that type of crowd and you into that type of shit, don't start crying now, nigga. Don't take the stand now, nigga. That, I, that's all I'm saying. To me, that's nasty. That man got that man 35 years. Here's his statement. When the shots goes off, I see the light from the spark and I hear the shot. He testified. <laughs> Look, this is all happened fast. This, this, this is all happening fast. I get up and start fighting Tax Stone, trying to take him, trying to take him, grab the gun, and another shot goes off. I put my leg up to kind of block the shot from hitting me in the face or chest. So he's a he's basically putting out there. Tax Stone had the gun. Like, he ratted. Big time rat. Facts. And to me, I got to be real. I see what you just put here, Tech 489. Both of them were clowns for that. I agree. I agree for that. I agree with that, bro. It was weird to even do it in a place like that, Tax Stone. I got to keep it real. But, but, I'm going to be real. I was once in the streets. I was once in the streets. It's on site. Ain't that what these punk ass niggas be saying these days? It's on site. I'm just being real. I feel like both these niggas is clowns for that, period. Troy Ave is a clown anyways, period. He's just a he's a weirdo. But Tax Stone did some clown shit by even doing that in the club. You heard doing that in, at, in that in that area. Like, let's be real. The nigga testified on it. He didn't mind. Look at his face. He didn't mind taking that stand. 
That man was found guilty. Derek Daryl Campbell. Oh, let me take the uh, the uh, let me take this down. Daryl Campbell was found guilty of multiple charges, including manslaughter in the first degree for shooting and killing 33-year-old Ronald Fatter and injuring three others during confrontation at Irvin Plaza. Damn, he got 35 years for that, y'all. He's 33. That's, that may be the rest of his life. It may be done It may be a done deal. I got to keep it real. Rest in peace to Benga. That's who McFadden is. Rest in peace to Benga. You heard? But me personally, if I'm into it with somebody, I mean, did he do the right thing by taking a stand, y'all? I got to ask y'all that. I just got to ask the, the, the real question. I got to ask y'all that. Did he do the right thing by taking the stand? I, 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 me personally, I just got to take it all in strive, y'all. Some would say he's trying to save his life all over some BS. That's a fact, bro. That's a fact. That's why it was some clown shit. Did, did, does he have a point taking it? Hell no. Look, look, look. Spider the Herc said, hell no. I think niggas made him. You think people made him take the stand? Nah, ain't nobody going to make you take no stand, bro. Ain't nobody making you take no stand. You saying, uh, I know his brother. I had interviews with his brother. I, I mean, what we talking about? They both was dumb and tat on the site. Thing is, what got them in jail because you're going off emotions, not thinking. That's a fact. That's a fact. A lot of these dudes go off emotion, though. That's a fact. A lot of them go off emotion and don't think. I think it's stupid all the way around the board. And that's where he's at where he's at now. But for this man to only get a year, and he's the one that actually shot uh, allegedly. Allegedly. They saying allegedly. That's how it went down. His man got shot. Uh, Benga got shot because he grabbed the gun in it, you know. So that's allegedly. I don't know. They, I don't know. Was it just on site? 919-706-9990. Let me know. Did he have a reason to take the stand? 90% ain't really built for this. You set yourself, your, your enemies. Wait, wait. You set up your enemy so you avoid the stand, not go off the emotions. That's a fact. That's a fact, Uzi Alifa. I agree with that. But, you know, some people may say this nigga life is done. He trying to save his own life. I mean, how y'all looking at it, street niggas? Uh, square niggas? Where the, where the square niggas at? Like, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody's all rough and tough and gangster all day. Where's the square dudes at? I'm just keeping it real. Call the hotline. Uh, 919-706-9990. I'm just being real. Where's the square dudes at? You heard? We're the dudes that don't want no smoke. You heard? That they ain't never been in trouble. How they feel? They taking the stand? I'm just being real. Yeah, he tried to kill me, and this happened, this happened. Yeah, yeah, they breaking it on down. How y'all feel? Super sick in the building. Salute, homie. L7 in the building. Salute. Um, Yeah, let's get this call real quick. Let's see what, before we get into the next joint. Salute, salute, salute. Welcome to Harlem Legend TV. State your claim. Good spider, you heard? Ooh, I can't. I can't hear you, brother. I said it's a spider. Spider, salute, salute, salute to spider, man. What's popping, my G? Let the hey, people, yo, I gotta let ask you the, a question. Let the people know where you're calling from. Let the people know where you're calling from. I gotta ask you a question, Harlem. Yeah, what's good? If you was in the club, like right, minding your business, you gotta know on you, whatever, whatever, but you minding your business, and they just come out of nowhere and pop on you, they jump out of jumping, you don't let it go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you blocking your your uh your which is uh, your your speakers, brother. You like going in and out. Hold on. Can you hear me now? There you go. There you go. Speak your mind. Uh, I said if you was in a club, right? You mind your business. You got it on you, and the niggas run down on you, on you all type of shit. You not wrong. If the place is wrong, when you get when you do that, but. It's, you're not wrong for letting it off. No, not You're at all. I, well, 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 it's not. I don't even got to be a street nigga for that. If a nigga jumping me anywhere, nigga, I'm 43. I'm letting it off. Exactly. So I'm just being real. It's wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, look, I got to go to jail. I got to do what I got to do.
But I'm not letting these men put me in no damn coma either. That's a fact. So he's not stupid for that. He was minding his business the whole night. How you feel about this, though? Sorry, nigga. I'm trying to come home. So do you feel like he just he did just right? You don't think Troy Ives did bad? Yeah, he did super bad. You started to, and this and this sent the man in jail for 35 years. That was nasty. That is nasty work. You started That's... the whole shit. <coughs> That is nasty. But you know, so shout out to all the legends. Shout out Everybody to you, hit King. the like button, subscribe. That's a fact. We back, man. Salute, King. You know that shit. Salute. Hope I go to move, man. You know all that shit. Salute. Salute. Man, call the hotline, y'all. Let me know how y'all feel, man. Some niggas may feel like, hell nah, nigga. I'm going home. You ain't about to Tyson, Tyson Garcia, salute, salute, salute to everybody that's donated to the channel. I appreciate that. Tyson Garcia, salute for the deuce. He says, sorry, Ninja. I'm trying to come home, homie. I ain't going to hold you. That's what it all boils down to, y'all. Mm -hmm. A lot of these niggas, they trying to go home. Troy I said, I ain't no gangster no more. But he's sitting on PC for a year straight. He probably got to do like 11 months, 10 months, and he'll be freed. You heard? So is it right that he told on that man? That man life already over. He looking at it like, yo, that nigga life for I'm not justified for nobody. I'm just asking the questions. He feel like that man life is over. He like, fuck that. I'm taking the stand, nigga. I'm getting up out of here. Y'all can stay here by yourself. You heard? How y'all feel? No, they trying to give me 10 years for this, man. Hold up. This ain't my gun. This is. How y'all feel about that, man? How y'all feel about that, man? Salute, uh, Tyson Garcia. I appreciate you. Uh, Troy Ave played. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> He did it real quick, too, though. He got up out of there. Mia, salute. Mia in the building. Salute. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Nah, that's a crazy situation. That's a crazy. What, what? You you a civilian? That's what you telling all them legend that you a civilian? What you going to do? I'm just keeping it real. What you going to do? I'm just asking the questions, man. But uh, anyway, salute to everybody in the building. Please get the likes up. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. Rap Ref in the building. Salute, King. Salute, salute. Salute to everybody in the building. Go subscribe to Rap Ref. S -O -S I mean, uh, Rap Ref and... Uh, and uh, I'm about to say Lil Dell. <laughs> Rap Ref and uh, 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 Straight Blunt Visuals, man. Make sure y'all go over to their page and make sure y'all subscribe, man. I want to ask y'all a question. So, Machine Gun Kelly, yeah, MGK, that nigga feminine as hell now, too. We got to be real. He he, wow, feminine now, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. He don't mind putting on the lipstick. He don't mind putting on the little shabby gear. I got to keep it 100. I got to keep it 100. Uh, was he groomed? Was he groomed, allegedly? We know the stigma. Oh, we're going to go to the paperwork. We're going to go to the matter of fact. Matter of fact, let me just make sure I put this up now. Let me make sure. Let me share uh, extra uh, share screen. Let me make sure I just go to this paperwork just to make sure I got it on hand here. Just to make sure I got it on hand. Just to make sure it's here. That's all. Just to make sure. I'll blow it up in a minute. We know they stigma. Caucasian male. I ain't going to hold you because they feel like they, I'm going to tell you what they feel like. You're allegedly, allegedly. They feel like they got power. Yeah. When they do that, they feel like they got the Caucasian white male. That's what they allow to do. You see what it said about Stevie J in the paperwork. We're going to get to that. But let's listen to MJ, MGK, Machine Gun Kelly, when he says, and, and he says this out his own. Man, this shit don't make me get naked. Pay attention. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you set your bell notification so you know when I'm going live. Salute. Today, I had, just, I had smoked something that Puff had gave me. And it was like, it, it was as if I, I had partied like three nights straight. It was, like, <laughs> it was the craziest. Have you, have you seen Get Him to the Greek? The movie? Yes. yes yeah. yeah. Remember yeah. the Jeffrey scene? Smoke the here. Here's a Jeffrey. Oh yeah. And like it's supposedly like all the things mixed in one. Yeah. That's, that's what you had. I swear. I swear. That's I, that had to be what it and is. And who gave it? Did he gave this to you? Yeah, who gave yeah. this? So you you call him Puff. You call him. Yeah. Uh, I, call him Puff. All right. I don't know what to call the guy. He changes his name. You know, like once a year or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, 
So he gave you this. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, he'll, he'll look out. Like, I, I was like, I'm about to go to the airport. You know, I need something that'll knock me out. I mean, it, it totally did the opposite. It was, I was, I, <laughs> I did, cra- I was doing crazy dance moves to the weirdest music for 20 minutes straight, like out, like while he was on the phone and I was just outside the window looking in while he was looking at me like, man, this guy's tripping. This kid's nuts. <laughs> like, you know I mean? then, but the funniest part was he was like, he was like, all right, man. He was like, Oh, I, okay. So this is this, so the thing was I, I said, do you have you know? Can I can I get some? Do you have any whatever? And uh, I just wanted someone to, get, to go to the airport, you know, just to, to last me so I can knock out on this flight. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have my guy. So he goes down, comes back up with his stuff, and I got I gotta stop that right there. I gotta stop that right there. Things get spooky. Things get spooky. Uh, disgusting. I'm a, I'm gonna keep it real. I got before I get back into that, y'all. I got I gotta show y'all. I believe he was groomed since a kid. Uh, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Look at these pictures, y'all. Look at these old pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. look at them. Look at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at these old pictures, y'all. Too many Fugazi niggas in the game. Uh, ninjas running around. That's a fact, fancy. Salute says for the donation. I appreciate the douche. You heard? Everything counts, y'all. Salute to everybody donating to the channel. That's a fact. Salute. Uh, Tyson Garcia, salute for the dudes. MGK had Puff's party meet between his cheeks. That's a fact. That's a fact. I'm just keeping it tall, y'all. Like, this is nasty work. Look, look, look. Puff groomed that young boy, man. Since he was a kid, man. Since he was young, running around, man. He been with Puff since he was 18, 19 years old. Think about it. Think about it. Now, let me take y'all here real quick. Let me take y'all here real quick. Hold on. Salute to uh, uh, Tyson Garcia. I appreciate that. Hold on. Let me take y'all here real quick. Because we must not forget. What's the MO, y'all? What's the MO? What's the MO? Huh? Huh? I bet y'all don't know that. What's the M.O.? Hold on. Let's get this straight. Let's get this straight, y'all. What's the M.O.? Let's not forget the M.O., y'all. Let's not forget the M.O., y'all. Look. Wait, wait. Let me let me uh get that all the way to right here. Let's not forget the M.O., ladies and gentlemen. Y'all can read, right? Y'all can read. Let's not forget. What's the MO, y'all? Let me blow this up one more time and see what it can do. Boom, that's too too crazy. Right there. Mr. Combs used access to Stevie J and his knowledge of Mr. Jones' admiration of Stevie J to groom and entice Mr. Jones to engage in homosexuality. Mr. Combs went so far as to share a video of Stevie J Anally penetrating a Caucasian male without a condom. Now, y'all tell me, does he fit the criteria? I'm just keeping it 100. Does he fit the criteria, ladies and gentlemen? Huh? Look, look at French Montana with Cassie. They're having a good time. Does he fit the criteria, ladies and gentlemen? I'm just keeping it a hundred. I'm just keeping it a hundred. Does he fit the criteria? Look at him when he was young. Now look at him. Yeah. He's a lost soul, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just keeping it real. Now look at him. He's a lost soul. Let's call it what it is. Now look at him. What we talking about, ladies and gentlemen, was he groomed by Diddy? Breaking news, lawsuits dropping on Diddy's son for Christian Combs for sexual. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. This is what I'm talking about. See, we might we might have to double back because let's not forget. I have the paperwork, ladies and gentlemen. I have the paperwork here. I'm asking y'all, was this man groomed? Look what the paperwork says. Hold on. We ain't forget. Look at Stevie J. 
Look at Stevie J. The man had evidence, y'all. The man got evidence. Look at Stevie J. Look at him getting it in. Salute, double O Kane. I appreciate the donation, King. I appreciate the nickel. Uh, I have to look into that and uh make up and come up with a video and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Salute, King. Appreciate you. Yeah, we have the evidence. The man got the video. Come on. Look at him. Look, he's been groomed since a child. Allegedly. I got to say allegedly, ladies and gentlemen. You heard? I don't need P. Diddy using his take that, take that to take my channel. You dig what I'm saying? But look, this, this, this is when he was a kid, yeah? What we talking about? What we talking about? He been around the block. Puff done played, allegedly. Look. Since he was young. Well, what are we talking about? Now look at him. Now look at him. Mind, body, and soul gone. Gone. That's a fact. Yeah, I don't, yo, look, I, I'm, I don't make the news. I just break the news down. I'm just keeping it real. I don't make the news. I just break the news down. Look at the drug. He said Puff gave him a drug. I ain't being put to sleep by this. Pay attention. Today, I had, just, I had smoked something that Puff had gave me, and it was like, it, it was as if I'd, I had partied like three nights straight. It was, like, <laughs> it was the craziest. <laughs> have, you, have you seen Get Him to the Greek? The movie, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. You remember yeah. the Jeffrey scene? Smoke the here, here's a Jeffrey, oh, yeah, and like it's supposedly like all the things mixed in one, yeah. That's, that's what you had. I swear, I swear that's I, that had to be what it and is. And who gave it? Did he gave this to you? Yeah, who gave yeah. this? So you, you call him Puff, you call him, yeah, uh, I, call him Puff. All right. I don't know what to call the guy, he changes his name, every, you know, like once a year or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, so he gave you this, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, he'll, he'll look out like I, I was like, I'm about to go to the airport, you know, I need something that'll knock me out. I mean, it, it totally did the opposite. It was, I was, I, <laughs> I did, cra I was doing crazy dance moves to the weirdest music for 20 minutes straight, like out, like while he was on the phone, and I was just outside the window looking in while he was looking at me, like, man, this guy's this tripping. kid's nuts, like, you know. <laughs> and, but the funniest part was, he was like, he was like, all right, man, he was like. Oh, I, okay. So this is this, so the thing when I, I said, "Do you have you know? Can I can I get some? Do you have any whatever?" And uh, I just wanted someone to, get, to go to the airport, you know, just to, to last me so I can knock out on this flight. And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have my guy." So he goes down, comes back up with his stuff, and the guy shows Puff, and I was like, "No, no, 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 no!" I'm trying to give him like the. And he said the Snoop Doggy Dog is what he said he's trying to give me. So I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I want, yeah, yeah, what is that? What's up with yeah, that? Where's that? Sounds at? good. Whatever right. the hell that yeah, is. Yeah, like, what is that? So <laughs> long story short, he, he finally finds it and he's like, oh, here you go. He's like, now, the, now my guy said take four, like, four hits and, like, stop. All right. You know, like, and we didn't, you know, I just kept going. So, yeah. And so, like, he was like, he was like, come back up in five minutes. And I mean, when I tell you I came back up in five minutes and, like, had a, had a result for him, like, you know what I mean? Like, if it was. <laughs> It was crazy. Now, does he does he smoke any of this, or is he no, too no, reserved? I have, I have no idea. I mean, he didn't smoke it with you, so no, it wasn't no, like no, you no. and P. Diddy no, uh, no, no, smoking no. together. He just nope. sends you down, and then he's on the phone running his empire, Yeah, and you're dancing naked outside, <laughs> outside of his, his window. window like <laughs> <laughs> Tweaking balls, yeah. No wonder these black guys think so, that white people are crazy. Right. It's this guy. It's Do you hear this man? He gave him the Snoop Doggy Dog. Real quick, salute, man. Salute, brother. I appreciate you for pulling up. Let me uh go ahead and read. Fancy salute for the nickel. Uh, no wonder he was looking lost on with Megan Fox. So sad. Filthy Diddy, and his team needs punishment. See what the love of money will cost you. Facts, facts. A lot of these dudes sign to little to nothing, and 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 they be on their knees with within. <laughs> it don't take long. You want fame? <laughs> you know what you got to do. That's a fact. Uh, salute, brother. How you doing, man? State your claim, King. Peace, all them legend. You can hear me, fam? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, salute, my name fancy. Is Big salute, Ron, fancy. Sir. Salute to you, son. Um, Big Ron, Volume 2, Reloaded. Another sound of hip-hop. OG, BX, salute. High Bitch Projects, salute. and all that, son. I'm, I'm saluting you, son. I, um... 
first and foremost, I want to say I, I'm glad you expanded. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, mm-hmm. you expanded on the culture, talking about more topics besides hip hop. I mean, besides battle rap. So I'm saluting oh, yeah. you for that. You know but what I've I'm been, saying? I've been over that. here, though. I've been no, doing no all doubt, no doubt, doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, nah, I know, I know. But you know what, this I've, I've been just studying this and, and, and I'm listening to all the topics you're talking about, man. It's just it's black eye for the culture, yo, all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, from yeah. the Troy app to the Rose, you know. And, Rose um, just corny. How you feel about that? I think the nigga just corny. Believe it or not, I'm, nigga, a, I'm, I'm a big Rick Ross, big, big Rick Ross fan. And, and mm-hmm. see, I'm 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 from the I'm from the um from the dirt. I'm from High Bridge Projects, yo. Shout okay, out to High okay. Bridge, yo, so West Side, yet. 1125 so University yet. Avenue. I'm from the dirt, yo. I was there when Cool Herc was doing the jams in the parks and all that. So I'm from the mud like that. So okay. when it come to me, it's about it's about the the beats and the rhymes. It's about the the music, the elevation. You know, um. Everybody knows for a long time, um, industry rule number 4,080, reckoning a couple of people shady. As a matter of fact, going back, you remember that movie they had back in the day called The Show? It was like a documentary. And Dr. Dre said back then, like, niggas ain't out here really killing people. They, you know, but it's still the, the entertainment. It's still the culture. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. Everybody know Rick Ross was a, was a, was a CO at one time and all that. But you can't deny his contribution to the culture of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Just based off his music. Yeah, you but, know but I, mean? I, I just don't like the, the false narratives. Like when these artists that I've always been a hater of that. Like when they all right, nigga, we don't need to know. I don't care about your watch, nigga, to be real with you. But, but you gotta have a truth. three point four million dollar watch and come to find out fake. You're right. What are you you're right. And let me tell you no, nigga, these niggas gotta work hard to get what we want. So at the Life. end of the day, I'd rather my kids grow up working hard to get what they want, not all false narratives or fake ass niggas getting up there acting like they got all this fucking jury and the shit is fake anyway. So just tell the people it's fake. Come, I, I just hate that shit, nigga. I, fake jury or fake all nigga. This jury is fake. You gotta portray it to be real. <laughs> You nah, understand? I hate, I hate, that. fake, I hate niggas. That's that. fake nigga shit. That's fake nigga shit all the way around the board. Just to try to portray it's real is fake nigga shit. I'm going to tell you something. No, I'm going to keep it a stack. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I'm, I'm from the Bronx, but I live in Georgia now. I'm from okay. Highbridge, but I live in Stockbridge, GA now. I've been out here in Georgia for the last eight years. I did that for the seeds for a better way of life and all that. You know what I'm saying? Because if you'd have told me 10 years ago, I'd have been living in the A. I'd have been like, yo, you lost your mind. The reason why I'm saying that is this. You know what I'm saying? I live literally about a half hour away from Rick Ross' crib. I've drove by there. I've seen that. Like, okay, he got the fake jewelry, but yo, guess that's what? Why you that a big that fan? house is oh, real. You, wild. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that, that house he got is real. You know what Let I'm saying? Back, so back. it still got to be inspiration to what Rose doing. Let me, uh, let me get this phone call. Let me get this phone call real quick. Let me get this phone call. Uh, yes, salute, 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 salute. Welcome to all of Legend TV. State your claim. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. My back, my back. Salute, salute, salute. Welcome to all of Legend TV. State your claim. Salute, Harlem. It's your boy Uzi. What's going on? Man, Uzi, what's popping? Uzi, man. Salute, homie. Yo, man, let's break down some of this, man. How you feeling about some of these topics, man? Let's let's machine gun Kelly. Was he groomed? You heard? Like, 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 yeah. let's be real, bro. That nigga yeah, giving him some type of drug to get the nigga naked. The nigga asshole bleeding. He don't know what happened when he woke up. I'm just saying, allegedly. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, Harlem, it, look, it ain't looking good for homie, man. Like, he looks like he been, he been doing this for a while. Like, he was groomed into this life. But I ain't gonna lie. Like, I really called up, too, not only to support, to show you mad love, because you, you're doing your thing, like I told you before, but the man that's up with you right now, he got a solid point, though, like, it's a black eye. I don't know where he went at. We, I don't know where he went. Go ahead, go ahead. Go it's ahead. a black eye for the community, but at the same time, I'm glad this is happening because we've been hoodwinked and bamboozled for years. You know what I'm saying? Like all this fake shit, like you said, the jewelry, all this fake gangster shit, all this. This it's, wasn't it's us, all a facade. It's all a facade, man. And yeah, we fall like, for it every us time. Back in the day, man. This is this is what that this is what them other coaches used to always do. The other coaches used to always be freaky, mm. but we were just about we were just about the music, getting our little money. But now we trying to we trying to blend in with with the, the, the really 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 rich folks and doing all this freaky shit. Yo, that ain't us, bro. You yes. know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm glad these dudes getting exposed because we need to get back to the essence, man. 
Yeah, I, I just I feel mean? like I feel like. Do you feel like Puff is going to jail? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, I, from, from what I know, like the feds never come off with bullshit. Man, the nigga was just dancing never. in his now, mansion, think, man. Think, he was just I think dancing Puffy over there. I think Puffy working. They working deals with homes behind closed doors, yo. He was they just dancing in his mansion. You think it was like he was just dancing, brother? Yeah, yeah. He, he I ain't gonna lie. Like, 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 I ain't gonna lie. I think he didn't. <laughs> I think he done sold. He, he done sold a lot of people out, man. Like, I think, he, I think something going down. Hold on, real quick, to, real quick, real jail, quick, real quick. Give me a second. Give me a second. Yo, salute to everybody in the building. Three hundred in the building. Hit the like button for me, y'all. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. Get it up to two hundred, man. At least, man. Get it up to two hundred at least. Salute to everybody in the building, man. Join the content. Please hit the like button. Welcome to Harlem Legend TV. Go ahead, Uzi. My bad, bro. No, no, you're right, though. I don't know why. What's so hard for people to hit, hit that the like button? Hit the like button. It helps the comment. channel That's grow. Crazy. That's us. all I ask them to please yeah. share the broadcast if you can. But please like up, hit the man. like button. Like the like up. button is free. You feel no me? No doubt. But, but yeah, yeah. Like, like, Go ahead. but like Harlem, like, it's just like, I don't know. This shit is ugly, man, all the way around. But all these devils need to be exposed, man. Cause they they hoodwinking our youth, man. I don't want to worry about my, my son growing up and he, he getting money. I'm worried about him. You know what I'm saying? Selling his soul for for some millions of dollars, man. I, yeah, don't I mean, it's going shit. down like that though. Like it's we going be down. Real. And Machine we got, Gun we got Kelly, really, yo 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 Harlem, we got real shooters selling eight virgin assholes out here. That's a fact, man. That's a fact, man. Pause, pause, pause man. Like it's really they, like mean, that. There's real killers out here on some sneaky shit. See? That's a fact, man. Like he we just gotta get, he we looks gotta bad. I gotta essence, be real. Man. I gotta be real. He really, really looks bad. Like true, like it's horrible, man. Like like like. Lie, this is though, true you story. Can, you know, Puffy, Puffy will sell his own mother out though. So you can't never put nothing past Puffy. If he, I ain't gonna lie. His, that boy Gene, his, his old bodyguard said it like Puffy rather kill himself than go to jail. You feel me? Puffy off himself allegedly. Puffy will off himself before he do jail time. Right, I think he'll tell on the whole goddamn community. He'll tell he... on the whole community, the whole country, man. Nigga, look Puffy how, look how bad anybody. he look. Look how bad Machine Gun Kelly look now, man. Like yeah, that's female, disgusting. Now. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, female yeah, yeah. shit. Look, look at this dude, man. Yeah, this is nasty, Harlem. Yeah, but you ain't gonna lie. He ain't one of us, so man, go riddance, man. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. Oh, us, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. But you <laughs> know what? I'm telling you what happens. Puff gets to these niggas, man. And I'm telling you. They never be the same, bro. These dudes like, are like, never like, the same. Like, like, like our boy Cat Williams said, you gotta tell him no. Yeah, you that's a fact. Tell that's him a no. fact. Because it get nasty. <laughs> it get you can't nasty. Tell him no, you. it's gonna get bad for you. Damn, this is bad, man. Salute, King. I appreciate Salute, you for my calling brother. up. Peace and love, man. Salute. Keep up, keep up the solid work, brother. You already know, man. Just Support tell a friend, always, tell a friend. Man. Support tell, always. Salute, King. No doubt. Tell a friend, what? tell a friend. We here, man. You already know. Yes, sir. Man, call the hotline, y'all. 919-706-9990. The transition is just crazy. The transition is, is disgusting. We got to be real. The transition and, and just, just looking at them is bad work. I got to be real. It's bad work. Call the hotline. Uh, if you believe, if you don't believe, I mean, do you even believe it? I got to be real. Do y'all even believe it? You heard? Like, the nigga said he gave... Hold on, I gotta play that again. Some of y'all never had fathers for real. Real men never look to entertainers for guidance. That was your father's job. Double O King, you definitely got a point, but that's false. Most of our kids are looking to entertainers. Most of them look at Lil Dirk and say, damn, I gotta act like I gotta slide too, because they just heard the little Dirk. I'm being real. This is very real. A lot of y'all, I know y'all look at that as, oh, that's just a narrative, all of them. And no, it's very real. A lot of these niggas want to live like NBA young boy. You heard? A lot of them want to be just like him. Just like what he rap about. I'm being real. That A lot of them want to be just like that shit, bro. Machine Gun Kelly, you could tell he grew up like, come on, the nigga was an outcast. You telling me he ain't groomed? He was an outcast. Look at him. Come on. Look at Puff in the middle of these niggas. What Puff do? Who's the only nigga that don't look like, 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 who look like the only nigga that, you know what I mean? Like, hold on, real quick. Come on, man. He even got the Bone Thugs and Harmony nigga there. Look, look, look. I don't know if that's flesh and bone, flesh and bone. I don't know who that is. 
Flash Bone, you heard? Like, who, who is these dudes, man? Hold on, let me put the uh, joint down. Yeah, that's the Flesh and Bone. Look at yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. He even got the Bone Thugs and Harmony dude there, man. Who's that, Flesh? No, not Flesh. That's, uh... Oh, wait. Uh, uh, Lazy Bone. Yeah, you heard? Pause. Pause. You heard? A lot of these dudes was used like that, man. Y'all wouldn't believe it, but I'm telling you. Lazy Bone. Look, hey, everybody around Puff is suspect. I don't know where dude went at that that that, that, that fell off. I didn't, I didn't take you out, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. No, you, I'm keeping it all the way. 100. A lot of these dudes, man. You know, everybody around Puff to me now, it, 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 I'm just keeping it real, it's suspect. It's suspect, dog. Lazy bone. Look, he got lazy paws. Look, ill. Look who he got around him, y'all. Look, them dudes ain't playing, man. Look. He had all the parties. That's Diddy. With, that's Diddy when he was young. Look. Before he had all the jury, and that's Diddy when he was young. Come on, man. Diddy was still wearing suits and all that. This one, French Montana got rich overnight. I'm keeping it real. Yeah. Yeah, let's get to that. Let's get to that. Let, French Montana got rich overnight. He's one of them type of dudes to me. To me. I'm just being real. To me. Call the hotline, 919-706-9990. I believe French Montana allegedly got, got down and dirty also. I'm being real. Look, it's all grooming stages, man. It's all grooming stages, man. I won't be surprised if he comes out and says he has a girlfriend. Allegedly. I got to keep saying allegedly because none of this stuff is maybe true what I'm saying. You understand? I don't make the news. I just break the news down. I, I don't I don't deal with I don't I don't have to deal with nothing. You heard, but I know what he said out his own mouth. What, what he gave him that pink? I mean, what, 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 what? That booger sugar, that pink booger sugar? What did he give him? I smoke something. I, I just can't believe that. Any, like, he said it. Yesterday, I had, just, I had smoked something that Puff had gave me, and it was like, it, it was as if I, I had partied like three nights straight. It was, <laughs> the, it was the craziest. <laughs> have, you, have you seen Get Him to the Greek? The movie, yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Remember yeah. the Jeffrey scene? Smoke the here. Here's a Jeffrey. Oh yeah. And like it's supposedly like all the things mixed in one. Yeah. That's, that's what you had. I swear. I swear. That's I, that had to be what it and is. And who gave it? Did he gave this to you? Yeah, who yeah. gave this? So you you call him Puff. You call him. Yeah. Uh, I, call him Puff. All right. I don't know what to call. Get the lights up. Get the lights up for me. I woke him home. Let the TV. Get the lights up. Get the lights up. I mean, you know, he'll he'll look out. Like I I was like I'm about to go to the airport. You know, I need something that'll knock me out. I mean, it totally did the opposite. It was I was I I did I was doing crazy dance moves to the weirdest music for 20 minutes straight like out like while he was on the phone and i was just outside the window looking in while he was looking at me like man this guy's this kid's nuts <laughs> like, you know I mean? but the funniest part was he was like he was like all right man he was like oh I, okay so this is this so the thing when I, I said do you have you know can i can i get some do you have any whatever and uh i just wanted someone to get, go to the airport you know just to, to last me so i can knock out on this flight He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have my guy. So he goes down, comes back up with his stuff, and the guy shows Puff, and I was like, no, 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 what? No, no, I'm trying to give him like the. He said the Snoop Doggy Dog is what he said he's trying to give me. So I was like, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I want, yeah, yeah. What is that? What's up with yeah, that? Where's that? At? Sounds good. Whatever right. the hell that yeah, is. Yeah, like what is that? So <laughs> long story short, he gra he finally finds it, and he's like, oh, here you go. He's like, now, the, now my guy said take four, like four hits, and like stop. All right. You know, and we didn't. You know, I just kept going. So, yeah, and so like he was like he was like come back up in five minutes. And I mean, when I tell you I came back home in five minutes and like had a had a result for him, like you know what I mean? Like if it was, it was crazy. Now does he does he smoke any of this or is he no, too I, reserved? I have, I have no idea. I mean, he didn't smoke it with you, so no, it wasn't no, like no, you no. and P Diddy no, uh, no, no, no. smoking together. He just nope. sends you down, and then he's on the phone running his empire. Yeah, and yeah. you're dancing naked outside, <laughs> outside of his, his window, window like, <laughs> <laughs> tweaking balls. Yeah, no wonder these black guys think so, that white people are crazy. Right. It's this guy. It's all because of him. <laughs> <laughs> and so we had a uh, right before that though. We were we were we had a meeting about the next. Time. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Yeah, that pink booger sugar. Yeah, that's a fact. 
That same shit allegedly. Yeah, yeah. Allegedly, what uh 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 what's that girl name that was flying to young Miami? Allegedly, was she was uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rick Roll, I mean uh 50 Cent Baby Mother Joy, yeah, yeah, allegedly. Yeah, yeah, what they was bringing in. I'm just being real. It wasn't that pink booger sugar. I'm just keeping it tall, y'all. They all party together. They all at these parties. The man has evidence. Major evidence. Look, y'all, look. Let's not forget. Is it that pink booger sugar? Huh? Hold on. Is it that pink booger sugar? You heard? We just don't know. This is all in the paperwork. All in the paperwork, ladies and gentlemen. Look. Yeah. According to Mr. Jones, during 13th month, he lived that travel with Mr. Combs. He witnessed defendant Karam openly order her assistance to keep Mr. Combs high off gummies and pills. Look at this. That pink booger sugar they was talking about, child. Defendant Karam required all employees from the butler, the chef, to the housekeepers to walk around with a pouch of fanny pack filled with coke, GHB, ecstasy, marijuana gummies, 100 to 250 milligrams each, 2C, a pink drug that is combinated with ecstasy. This is that 2G. Look at that 2C. <laughs> They call it Tusi, y'all. I'm just being real. That pink booger sugar. It's all in the paperwork, y'all. This is the full-blown paperwork right here. I'm just keeping it 10,000. All of this is the paperwork, y'all. No lies told. Look at this. It's all in the paperwork, y'all. Look. That was his drug dealer. Allegedly. 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 Brendan Paul. Allegedly. Yeah, this is all in the paperwork, y'all. Look. He works alongside Brendan. Look, he's breaking down everything all through this paperwork. Who's who? Look at the parties. You heard? They can take pictures and everything. He probably doing shit that he ain't supposed to be. He had no damn business doing. Let's call it what it is, y'all. He doing shit that he has no... Yeah, come on now. People know that. What's up now? Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everybody that pulled up in the building, man. Uh, let me drop the link. Just in case anybody want to pull up. Show your face, not your ways. Uh, welcome to Harlem Legend TV. Uh, call a hotline, uh, 919-706-9990 if you want to talk about it, man. If you want to weigh in, please get the likes up. To help the channel grow. Spread the channel out. Let's get to it, man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot going on, man. I ain't going to hold you. There you go. Yo, what's good? Your shit went out, bro. Nah, son, I was letting you do your thing, son. You know what I'm saying? I'm, it's an honor to be on your platform, so I appreciate that. Now, check it. Did you hear about Puffy on some old informant now? Like, that's the reason why he home. And did you see the video of him the other day chilling and dancing in his crib like yesterday? I've seen that. I've seen that. And I was just telling the people that. And I, I've heard that's what they're saying, uh, allegedly, that he's an informant and all. I don't know about that. I just think he has so much information. They're not going to move forward. You know what? They started, but see, like he's been connected to like Prince Harry. You know I what I'm saying? We talking about forward. royalty from London. Now we talking about worldwide scandals. I you think know what I'm saying? With them type forward. of them type of people. Nah, they, they got to move forward with something. At the end of the day, you know they what I'm saying? Gotta, this the feds. If, if, they ain't got to do if, shit. Brother, but you yeah, over here reading, you reading, you over here reading the paperwork. That paperwork got to be answered for the, one no, way or another in the court the of law. Diddy could cut a check today, it goes away. He could yeah, call, uh, 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 he could call Rodney Jones, the guy that filed the lawsuit that has all this evidence. 
allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> no, no, but it's all there. Like, no, o- he got like OJ with, Simpson. Yeah, he got like, the shit. Like, with, for uh, example, that picture, that picture you got with Stevie J, yo, some people saying that's not Stevie J in that picture. Like, hey, you know. Hold on, hold on. You want to play? You want to play? I saw you the know. picture. Oh, I saw the picture. I don't picture. play no game. I, don't play I games saw like the that. picture, son. That's I'm the picture you, that he look, put look, on look, the look, paperwork. So, so why would the I dude... I've seen the whole paperwork, too. I, listen, listen, Pictures listen, and everything. Listen, listen, homie. No, no, I, I, listen, homie. Let me let me ask you something, right? So, I, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm, I'm, I'm prove that wrong right now. You know how? How? It's simple. You know why it's simple? Because why would he put allegations like that he sent me a video, right? Right? I can show you what the guy said. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's get to this. Let's get to this. Let's get to this. He sent me a video. Look, look. It's still highlighted in blue. I never... Look, look. Mr. Combs... That's the paperwork. Yes, sir. No, no. Listen, listen. I'm going to break this down to everybody that's watching right now how simple this is for us to get understanding as a people, all right? So... Me, I'm not looking at this as alligator. I'm looking at this as a fact. You know why? Mr. Combs used access to Stevie J and his knowledge of Mr. Jones' admiration for Stevie J to groom and entice Mr. Jones to engage in homosexuality, right? Mr. Combs went so far as to share a video of Stevie J angrily penetrating a Caucasian male without a... So he sent him a video... And that's the video he sent with that and picture that's how right the, there. Yeah, they ain't going to put a video on a piece of paper. They put screenshots. It's a clip, yeah, of the video, though. So I, they, the, the law probably got that. But in the paperwork, they're just basically putting it in there. So what I'm saying to you is, homie, like, you heard? There's a lot here that he needs to answer to, dog. That's just a super fact. That's yeah, yeah, and and, and you like, know what? Time will tell. They did because it to Bill Cosby. They did it to R. Let Kelly, and something. unfortunately, they something. did to Mike Jackson. His puffy turn. He's up next. Because this is what happens. This is a lawsuit for millions of dollars, right? If you lie, tens, hundreds listen, of millions. Listen, but they catch you on one lie, your whole lawsuit is shit. So he shared a video with Stevie J, nigga. So you got to produce that video now when it's child time. I doubt if it's going that far. I got Diddy settling out, giving that man some money to shut the fuck up. Or allegedly, he mysteriously, Jeffrey Epstein. I'm just being real. Yeah, yeah. And you can say that. And and, and see, that's it. Yes, Coming sir. Yes, sir. Day. I'm glad you mentioned Jeffrey Epstein because he and, and 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 that's why I say it's a black eye for hip hop because Puff put himself in a level where he could be compared to a Jeffrey Epstein. You know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, now it's going to be in a dark light. I, I just got this man coming up missing, brother. Like you understand? You're but you know what part part of it is the game? No, man. That's that even before Puffy it was sex, drugs, and rock and roll. They've been doing this outlandish shit way before Puff. Hold Rick on, James and all that. Call. Yeah, I do your call. thing. I'm here. Gotta... Salute, salute, salute. Welcome to Harlem Legend TV. State your claim. Hey, Harlem. What's up? Yep. So this is you heard? Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I can't. You, you going in and out, good brother. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's a that's funny again, you heard? Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's how I feel. I don't do those, you heard? Yeah. Yeah. Salute, salute. I don't know. Salute, salute. 050, you heard? Yeah, salute, King. You already know, King. Yo, I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, listen, yo, listen, listen. 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 Some of y'all never had fathers for real. Real men never look mm. un- uh, to entertain us to guidance. That was your father's job. Salute, salute, double O King. Absolutely right. It, yeah, it, but you get inspiration from entertainment, though. Come on now. We the roads that grew from the concrete. I agree with what homeboy saying, but I don't agree with that. Because, see, I ain't grow up with a father. Like I said, I'm from the projects. You know what I'm saying? Single moms. I'm half black, half Puerto Rican and all that. That hip-hop raised me, B. You know what I'm saying? Like, the culture, you know what I'm saying? You know, on the positive tip, though. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, it just, you know, I, me personally, I, I feel like it was a lot of dudes like Usher, Meek Mill. Oh, Freak Mill. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned Freak that. I, I'm a, I feel yo. like a lot of them dudes been groomed like that, bro. I got to be real. Let, but, but see, but let me and tell let you, and I didn't mean to cut path. you off. Pardon me, I mean to cut you off, but look, they've been exposing more and more Puffy lately. All these videos, all these old videos is coming up. And I'm going to share this with you real quick because just before I tuned into you, they have put up a video, right, of the Dirty Money release party, right? Old school, because now they're trying to just destroy Puff. And anything that they could show that he did anything suspect, they throwing it out there. Stuff that, you know what, we was, you know, see, here's the thing. Back in the days, we was watching some of this stuff being done, and we wasn't even saying nothing about it. Now yeah, we live yeah, in the cancel yeah. culture. We in the cancel culture now. So yeah, now, everybody, now everybody coming to, now, now the, the roosters are coming, the, the chickens are coming home to roost. That's a fact. That's a fact. I mean, if you paid attention to my last show, I said that too, man. I said like, yo. I missed that on. last one. Pardon me. I missed that. Yeah. But I ain't Diddy, never going to miss Diddy no more of your shows, though. That's a fact. Me personally, though, Diddy ain't going to jail, bro. I really feel like he's not going to jail. I feel like he's going to. It's too much. It's Yeah, it's so many tapes. So many mm. ambassadors and fucking all kind yeah, of like, yeah, yeah. He's gonna man. be on some Nino Brown. If I'm going down, I'm taking everybody yeah, I'm taking with everybody me. Everybody with me. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> Nino, yo, let's go, man. I've been here an hour, man. <laughs> hey, yo, salute, man. Yeah. Thank you for allowing me your presence on your platform, son. I appreciate, appreciate you for that. Dude. Uh, you got you got a platform. Let the people know where to find yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the I'm in the lab right now. I'm about to relaunch my joint on the proper level. Thank you for brothers like you. Caps, all your for the inspiration. It's called Volume Two Reloaded. I got a story to tell, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell it. Thank you so much for the opportunity salute, to be gang. on your joint, salute. Appreciate salute, you, Harlem. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Once, son. Man, salute to everybody that pulled up in the building. Everybody that showed love to the platform. Y'all already know what it is. If you have not subscribed to my other channel, Too Real for Battle Rap, O Five Voter Movement, make sure y'all go subscribe. Make sure you tap in with Rugs Monopoly. Get your rugs done. Get your rugs done. Y'all already know what it is. Get your rugs done, man. Make sure y'all tap in with Rugs Monopoly. I will be anybody of my members. I will be giving away rugs to my members. Putting your name in a hat, shaking it up, and seeing what's popping. And then on, uh, we will be doing raffles also. So five dollar raffles to win two, three hundred dollar rugs. So y'all already know what it is, man. Um, who this in the back right here? Somebody pulling up right now. Oh, Stizzy, you just pulling up, dog? Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yo, hold on, hold on. Yo, can we hear you? No, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Unmute your mic. Unmute your mic. There All you right. go. There you go. There you go. There you go. The ones you got to watch for with Diddy, right, is the ones that never left. Pay close attention. Certain people got around Diddy real quick and then got up out of there. Mace went to church. Other people... Like, took their talents elsewhere. You got to watch the ones that stayed, the French Montanas, the Rick Rosses, the ones that got them Ciroc, different flavor, French vanilla Ciroc. You got to watch those ones, bro. Those are the ones. Yeah, I but I also wanted to highlight this about MGK, right? Mm -hmm. My boy Millie's, I don't know if y'all know him, rapper, Boston Cambridge is about to be on his ass. They already got their little back and forth, little, I can't wait for Millie's to get him. I where you where you from? Where you from? Where you from? Where from, you from? Boston. Oh, you from, from Boston? Boston. Oh, okay. Okay. No. Okay. Millie's I used to be on four corners. I used to be in the four corners in New yeah, England. Four yeah, corners. Yeah, yeah. I used to be on Washington eighty-two Street. Bolden. Washington yeah. Street, Bolden, all that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sixty-two okay. eighty-two Bolden. Bolden. I used to be on Bolden yeah. Street. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. That's Dorchester. Mm -hmm. But yeah, bro, yeah. I cannot wait for Millie's to get him. But everybody already knew this about MGK. He been giving us signs, the little devil worship and shit, the little weird shit, the clothes he be wearing, like yeah, the yeah. pictures he be taking. Like, bro, I been no, knew that about Diddy. People been saying it, it's been rumored, but now, like that interview just highlights, like, yeah, you was off yeah, that He seems to be real like, feminine bro. these days. He seems to be super feminine, bro. Like, I'm being all the way on it. Whatever, bro. I don't judge nobody. Whatever. Do what you do. It's just the way that it happened with him. Like certain people, like 
we're gay. They gay. Cool. Frank Ocean, he had he put out a couple little songs and yo, bro, I'm gay. Like before his career ever, like this dude was who he was, who he was, went around Diddy, got away from Diddy, had a dark phase, worshiping the devil and shit, and then popped out gay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Dude, this look, oh, I, I mean, do you feel like he was groomed by Diddy? Allegedly. I feel like he was, well, feel like he was groomed by Diddy, allegedly. Hell I yeah. feel like he was. Look at that shit, bro. Since he was young, talking about the nigga gave him something that made him get naked. Hey, yo. No bullshit, bro. This man, like, said, this man said he gave him something that made him get naked. Yeah, nah. I know. I yeah, that's that's they, be, they become they dependent. They become dependent yeah, on that shit. Hey, yo. And it's crazy because not only do they be become dependent on the drug, they become dependent on the exposure. Ain't no party. Even LeBron James said ain't no party like a P. Diddy party. Yeah, yeah. LeBron, well, we know what's going on there, man. Come on, man. We know what's going on there. He's been looking a little saucy. I'm not trying to put no allegations on LeBron James. I'm just saying. Allegedly. Allegedly. That but they've been looking saucy to me, homie. Like, I'm just being real. A lot of these dudes already look yeah. saucy to me, man. I'm just saying, like, the level of exposure just standing next to Diddy gets you. They become addicted to that just as much as the drug. You feel me? Like, it's a whole package that comes with it. That's why they say you can never, it can never be consent with a person that's in power. Like, let's say you got a boss or you're in the workplace and there's like some, some shit going on with a, with staff. Like if you're a, a, a boss, somebody that works for you, a, a subordinate, they could be like, like nigga, that could be a lawsuit. That That's always wrong. You're always in the wrong. If you're the boss, if you're an authority, you're always in the wrong. If, if it doesn't matter if you, you could be in prison and you're a CEO and you have a relationship with an inmate, consensual you're wrong you're authority you're wrong you're above them mm -hmm. like it's a power it's a power dynamic it's just it's weird bro i feel appreciate sorry you, man. for this bro i appreciate yeah, you bro. pulling up man yeah you gotta pull up a little earlier yeah. next time and set your bell notification nah, that's nah, always nah, you you nah, are nah, i definitely will salute salute you know i appreciate that. you salute to the chat too salute salute king Man, set your bell notification so y'all know when I'm going live. I'm going to start clicking it off more. Pause. No diddy. I'm going to start clicking it off more, man. But me personally, I do feel like MGK was grown, bro. Like, he definitely was. His nasty work. Did he take that? Take that. He on his shit again. I ain't going to hold you. But now everybody's coming and speaking out now. Like, that's my thing. Everybody's starting to speak out. So it's like, I don't know. Like, well, the man is wearing pink shirts now, man. He do got earrings everywhere all over his body now. Like, this man looking wild. The nigga said he gave him something that made him get naked. Damn. Salute to everybody in the building, man. It's your boy EOU, a.k.a. the Harlem Legend, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to all my channels, Harlem Legend TV, 050 The Movement. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok, Harlem Legend TV, man. Tell a friend, tell a friend. We here again, man. Salute. Harlem Legend came to New York. He went to an event and did a quick live outside and left. He didn't let me know he was going to be at that event before he went to that event. That's for one. For two, Harlem, Harlem Le Legend ain't never shot nobody, man. Stop comparing me to niggas that ain't never shot nothing. Oh, I almost forgot. Hit that like button, y'all. Subscribe to the channel. Salute. Good night. Yeah.